Okay, so here's a quick example of how you can use the glossary converter to merge your Excel spreadsheet and the term base. So to do this, I've created a, a very simple term base based on the example that was provided in the community. Specifically, because this was an interesting one, where there were the, the words and the phrases in the term base were actually split with line feeds. So it was drive motor off because it was designed to fit in a small space. So it should have line feeds in it. So I've gone English to Romanian and I've used line feeds. And I did that for both of them. I then exported that just to get an Excel file to get the right format. But then in my Excel file, I added a couple of new entries like this, which I added in just down here. So I just made them up. And I added them with line feeds again, so I just pressed Alt Enter in order to add the new ones. And what I want to do is create a new term base on the basis of what's here now. And it doesn't necessarily have to be exported, it could be a completely new file so long as it's in that format. And I can still merge them into a new one without harming the original, which is a really a good thing about this process. So what I'm going to do is start up the glossary converter. So brilliant tool this. I click on settings and then I'm going to go over to the merging over here. Well, maybe first of all, before I do that, I want to go to a term base. So I've got multi-term term base selected and I've checked the box to use the selected output format for any input format. So no matter what I put in, I'm going to get multi-term term base out. So I'm going to head over to the merging and in here, I'm going to enable the merge files. I don't know what field I want to merge on yet, so I can leave that blank for now and I will be prompted. Um, I'm going to use a master term base, so and I'll, use the, I'll use this one as my master. So I'll just head over here and pick that up. I'm going to merge on languages and specifically on sub, sub languages because in my particular term base I've used sub languages. If I hadn't, then I would just merge on languages. So then I say OK. And now you'll notice that I've got this little traffic light system, merge, master and language all checked, show me what settings I've got. And all I do now is I pick the SDLTB, I pick the spreadsheet and drag and drop those into the glossary converter like this. I'm going to be prompted a couple of times, so I'm happy with this. If I didn't, if these were incorrect, I could just double, or I could double click them or right click them and I could go and change the language but they're already correct. So it's picked up the correct ones from the headings that were in my columns and from the term base. So I click on OK. I'll then be prompted for the other file just in case there was different information in there. Make sure that matches, it's OK. Then I'm asked which field I want to synchronize on. So I'm going to synchronize on the British English. Click on OK. And that's going to run through. It's processed two files and it's done. I click on Exit. And you'll see now, I've now got this new file here, which is the original output merged. So it hasn't done anything to my original term base. That's still there. But now I've got a new term base, which includes the mergings to the Excel file. So it gives me a chance to double check it and make sure it's OK, just in case there were any problems. But if I now double click on that file and open it up, I should have a multi-term term base with all of those terms in there. No duplicates because I merged. So that's those are the original ones and they were just fine. And when I click on the other ones, you can see that these are similarly fine, all with the line breaks retained. It's really cool and really easy to do. So hopefully that helps and explains the process for anybody who hasn't tried this merging capability before.